Sometimes Russian strongman Vladimir Putin gets things right. Now, what he usually says is either pablum or propaganda, but once in a while a bit of reality is part of the mix. On February 26th, in an interview with the TASS news agency, Putin effectively claimed that Russians don't exist. After saying that the West has one goal, to liquidate the Russian Federation, Putin made the following remarkable statement. If the West succeeds in breaking up the Russian Federation and establishing control over its splinters, the Russian people might not be preserved. Instead, there will be Moscovites, Uralites, and others. It's important to keep in mind a distinction that doesn't exist in English. The Russians use the word Ruski to denote the ethnic Russian population. They use the word Rosiski to denote the inhabitants of the Russian Federation. Significantly, in the speaking of the Russian people, Putin used the modifier Ruski, the ethnic designation. One can easily imagine that the collapse of the Russian Federation, a scenario that's now actively discussed in Russia and abroad by both supporters and opponents of Putin's regime, would lead to the breakup of the Rosiski people. Many non-Russian regions would secede and opt for independence. Some Russian regions, especially those distant from Moscow, would likely follow suit. But for Putin to suggest that ethnic Russians might also fall apart is tantamount to denying their common nationhood and unifying identity. That is, Russians, according to Putin, are not a nation. Moreover, Putin's claim amounts to a backhanded recognition of the fact that the Russian Federation is the product of imperial expansion. The region centered around Moscow established the Muscovite state long before Peter the Great established the Russiskaya Imperia, the Russian Empire, in the early 18th century. And it was the Muscovites that founded the Muscovite state that expanded their rule over Moscow's competitors, some of whom, like the Novgorodians, had their own identity and state. In effect, Putin has unwittingly admitted that Russia is an empire and that its majority nation, the so-called Russians, is really an artificial amalgam produced by imperial expansion. Consider the policy implications if Putin is right. If and when the Russian Federation does indeed fall apart, not because of anything the West desires or does, but because of Putin's harebrained schemes and criminal war, the Russians will not confront the non-Russians in some bloody battle. Since the Russians will break apart into regional subunits, they're far more likely to engage their non-Russian neighbors in coalitions than in conflict. Russia's collapse could turn into a bloodless affair. Ironically, Putin may have just inadvertently assuaged Western concerns about the Russian Federation's eventual disappearance. All the more reason, perhaps, to prove Putin to be right.